All right, we are live. Getting a little pregame going on. We got about seven minutes before we officially begin. Um, my little clock is actually uh, hanging out with my uh, fishing gear. It's my little countdown timer, but it's not with me right now, so we'll just have to go off the old watch. Anyways, it's um, it's good to be back. Another Sunday. Another tie of the week. So it's been a uh, it's been a good week trying to figure out what, exactly what I want to tie, um, but I decided we're gonna do a couple. Uh, first one being um, some blood midges, followed by. Um, what are we doing? What's it called? I just posted a picture of it. The Jersey Herd. Let's go ahead. We'll put a, we'll put a Jersey Herd up there for now. Let's get a Jersey Herd up there. We got a couple of, couple of copies and pasting to do before we go, before we get started here. There we go. Hey, Mary. Hi, Josh. How's it going? I think my uh, my brother, are you at the race uh, currently? Is the race over? I don't know. You went to go uh, you went to go check out some NASCAR. Oh, crack, crack. Hope that wasn't uh, deafening there. We got the 406 Flyboys. So, question for the 406 Flyboys and 406 Mary. Did you guys sit there, like, sitting on the couch, uh, one person watching it on one person's phone and uh, somebody's like sitting there on the other side of the couch just checking it out just curious or is it like I don't know different rooms but I appreciate you both tuning in We got a lot of good things going on. Today, uh, the blood midges that I'll be tying are in preparation for a fly tying competition that I will be entering. It is the fifth annual Project Healing Waters fly tying competition. This will be my, either my third or fourth entry. Um, and I haven't won, I haven't placed, I haven't shown, I haven't, I haven't made honorable mention yet. So, I don't know. We'll get there someday. I'm just going to keep entering. Uh, this year's plan of attack will be the Inception streamer. So, um... We're going to be tying up the eyes for that. Uh, I have a question for everybody out there. My YouTube friends and fanatics. Um, I'm looking for some suggestions on to... Uh, I want to build a YouTube channel or a playlist to watch for myself to binge watch. Um, I was, was originally scheduled, but I have to reschedule because, um, anyways, long story short, I'm trying to make a blood platelet donation through the uh, American Red Cross. I've done platelet donations before. It's quite the ordeal. Anyways, you know, here I am, central Minnesota, and these turkeys tried to sign me up and had me scheduled for a blood draw appointment all the way down back in Atlanta so I was able to catch it on my uh, Red Cross blood app on my phone and um, I will be calling them first thing manana and you know doing my thing I really I'm a big believer of uh, donating blood i you know i'm not a man of wealth but i do produce good blood and apparently o positive is where it's at currently sitting at eight gallons working on nine 
and I decided that um, when I hit my 10 gallon mark, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna throw a little party, a little party, have it at the have it at the VFW, and it's gonna be a bloody merry party. Why not? All right. Let's see here. So who do we have out there? Let's let's go ahead and hit the refresh button so I can check and see what's going on out there. All right. So we do have uh, Steve and Mary 406, one each. We have Josh, the Husingfeld Life. Check out Josh's new uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this is separate from his Lego Lego deal. Um, Anyways, uh, let's see, we got Rob. Rob's in the house. What's up, Rob? Oh, you got your 10-gallon pin. Good on you, dude. Um, you know, and that's the thing is, you know, I don't have all sorts of money to be spending and donating and this and that. Um, but I do have blood, and, you know, blood can only go one place. Um, so we also got, we got Jimmy. Jimmy's in the house. Hiya, Jimmy. What's on uh, the menu tonight? I'm guessing, let's see, you've just recently had ice cream. Uh, it was popcorn last. I'm guessing a cold cut sandwich. It's a nice day for a cold cut. So welcome everybody. I got six o'clock. Let's go ahead and uh, tie up some flies. So we're not gonna tie this one right away. Um, we could. Yeah, we'll, well, we'll start with this one. We'll start with this because we're tying this up to make ourselves little bits of scrap, which I use uh, for my little, my little midges. So this is actually, this is the Jersey Herd. Um, I'm working on um, program, not programming. What do I want to call process and edit and work on my movie. Um, things are going to be a little different, looking a little different coming up on the YouTube channel here. Um, the YouTube editor will be disappearing here in exactly one week. You know, usually I upload it uh, off of my phone and I can do some light editing on the YouTube editor. Um, but not anymore. Things are changing. I got a different piece of software, and I figured out that I can upload my photos and videos via Bluetooth to my computer. All right. So anyways, these are size 8s. This is a good old Sprope, Sprope Bend. Nice big heavy hook. Um, let's get one in the vise. Yeah, I love these classics. It's absolutely amazing. Um, you know, it just goes to show that just because some material is old, you don't need the latest and greatest whiz-bang synthetic this and polyester that. So, I mean, my my thread here, it's a black. It's a size uh, 75 cents on the old wooden spool. Um, so here we go, like all good flies. Oh, let's get a little bit more light. Let's see if that helps. I think that helps. We'll cast on our thread, just behind the eye here. A couple of turns. And this is a real basic, basic material list kind of fly. Three ingredients, besides the hook. I don't, I don't know. I don't count the hook as an ingredient in the recipe. I mean, that's, the point is. All right, so this... This is a golden, it's a gold embossed, it's a metallic tinsel on a spool. Um, and you know how I like to keep my things on the spool. Um, this is just a little too heavy and a little too fragile, so I will, I hate wasting little bits of this, but I will cut a section of this free and essentially just use the bobbin to keep it from unspooling on itself. So I'm just going to take one section of this. And I'm going to start this off by tying it in on the side. Because when we start our um, palmering in the rear, bringing this forward, we 
we want. We don't want to necessarily get in the way of the peacock curl that will be the tail. So run that the full length of the body down the bend. And I'm going to run the thread back and forth once. And I'm just building up the size of the body. And a good way to tell that I got full full coverage, if you will, is if I don't see any of that gold left on that final return of the thread. And I give my thread a few turns here on the anti-clockwise direction, the counterclockwise. There we go, that ought to do it. I want this to be nice and smooth. The smoother, the better. So he's not watching right now, but PJ Pigeon, Pigeon Fly Tying, part of the 406 Flyboy crew. I'm going to be, uh, I'm on his side. I'm on Team Pigeon Fly Tying on this one. Um, but head over to uh, Instagram. If you're on Instagram, go over and follow his page. Go follow, go follow PJ at Pigeon Fly Tying. He's trying to get to what 1000 he's trying to hit the 1k mark um having a friendly race with the other uh other tire i believe he's the tire right uh from somebody from the 406 the bearded something i don't know all right so here we go we're gonna get our uh, peacock curl now usually I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of different doing this for me. I'm going to line up the butt ends, and we're going to trim those nice and even, just like that. We're going to measure it out. Oh, it's not a race against me. It's not a race against me. All right, we got Bob. Bob in the house. Hiya, Bob. It's uh, between PJ and the other tire for the 406 Flyboys. Bearded coils, there you go. Uh, right now, PJ, he's, he's, uh, he's a whisker ahead. I don't know the exact numbers, but it's a lot of fun watching, watching the numbers grow. Um, I'm sitting at like 340-something, I don't know. But PJ, PJ Pigeon and the good old Pigeon Fly tying. Good stuff there. You know, it's it's interesting. You, you, I don't know. I feel like I, I feel special because I got in on the ground floor with Pigeon Fly tying. Back when he was just, just the Bacon Express. All right, so we got our thread back and forward. Um... Let's go ahead and let's do our body. So I'm going to take the four strands. I'm going to fold those back. Fold those, get those out of the way. And we're going to do slightly overlapping wraps of this gold tinsel. Let's see. 406 Mary. Yeah, hit Mary up too. 406 Mary. I tell you what, Mary, you take you take some really good uh fish pictures. I think that's awesome. You got the genuine look at me. I caught a fish. Smile. So let's see here. Bob, you got some paras that uh, PJ sent back in March. Yeah. So slightly overlapping wraps with this. 
you can use just a flat, just plain old flat tinsel. You could anything shiny and gold. That's where the I guess the original name for this the the jersey. Um, it came from the old milk bottles. I guess they had um, foil on them. And I guess like the Jersey cows or something like that, the specific, I don't know, they were using the foil from it. All right, we'll secure this down. A couple of tight wraps. And, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting because usually when I do 90% of my wraps are counter wraps, and I could have easily done counter wraps on this, but I feel that um, the final lockdown, it comes out a little bit cleaner as a forward wrap. 406 Mary has a new follower. Whoop, whoop. Speaking of Instagram followers, um, I have recently been followed by a Don. He's uh, a Don of uh, some town in Italy. So... I sent him a message right away. Said it was a it's an it's a true honor to be followed by a Don. Which it is. I mean we won't go into the specifics of the rumors or this or that. Alright, so I'm just gonna take my thread back just a little bit because I'm gonna end up doing a little bit of a little bit of hackle. But first I still have these four strands of peacock curl. And I'm just going to take these and fold them forward. Pinch those down nice and tight. And give that a nice locking wrap for two or three. Excellent. So that's the top portion of the body. And we get to pick two of the four of these. And we can just go ahead and trim these off right now. Right meow. Get those out of the way and we need to stop what we're doing right now and check our watches because you know what time it is folks that's right it's hackle time so hackle i got this beautiful orange hackle it's probably an old herders you know, it's just, if you're going to use old stuff, use old stuff on it. Why not? And, you know, it's a size 8 hook, but the, the hackle is quite large. It's got some good webbiness to it down here at the tip. So what I've been doing, and what I'll do right now, is we'll tie it in by the tip. Or thereabouts. One, two, three, four. All right, so once that's tied in by the tip, we'll go ahead and trim the tip away. Let's see where the where the heck did my hackle pliers go? There we go. <clears throat> you know, you can use your fingers. I don't know. Oh no, we just ripped that sucker right off. We'll take that back. We'll take that back. We'll tie this in again. That's the beauty of the live stream. So what I did is I just went in there, cut myself a little notch. I'm giving the thread something to bite onto. No big deal. There we go. You know, it's it's one of the things that just happens. I mean, hackle hackle breaks. All right, so let's go ahead and take a couple wraps. Couple wraps of hackle.
There we go. One, two, three. Do I want three or do I want four? We'll finish this one with one more half a wrap. That's a wrap, folks. There we go. A couple of turns to cure that down. So what do we got here? We have uh, Daily Life. Uh, she or he. I can't tell. It's just a little tiny dot from where I can see it. Uh, you may sub back to my channel. Question mark. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I just don't go out and subscribe to channels just because. So put out some quality content. I'll subscribe. That's that's what it matters for me is the quality. All right, trim off our hackle. But thanks for tuning in, uh, Daily Life. I look forward to checking out your channel. That's for sure. You know, it's, I don't know, some some do it for the numbers game. You know, it's always fun to watch the numbers go up. I, I kind of stopped keeping track of the numbers uh, recently just because, I don't know. Um, I got all wrapped up with the 12-week giveaway, and I don't know. It's just one more thing I have to remember to do, and I'm not good at remembering things sometimes. All right, so what I did there is I full I took the extra fibers, I fold those back, which pushed uh, these two pieces of hackle uh, rearward too, and I'm building up. Had to do something. Oh, okay. Well, welcome back, Steve. Uh, I'm here to see a man about a horse. I'm here to see a man about a fly. I don't know. So I left myself a little bit of room, not one, but two pieces of hackle, two hackle fibers. And we're going to try to keep those close together. Here we go, because they're friends. And we're going to build up a little bit of a hackle head. Or not a hackle head, a hurl head. Hurl head, hurl head, hurl head. Say that five times fast. So two pieces, it kind of builds it up relatively quick. Doesn't take much. We're not going for super size thick. Secure that down. And trim off your final piece of hackle. Always trim off your final your final cuts, your final edges. I mean, you know, if you're messing with hackle prior or that hackle but the hurl yeah it breaks really easy and it's really convenient just to break it off but I don't know on the final edge do yourself a favor trim it off you paid good money for scissors why not use them all right one two three whip finish one two three ah 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 Secure that down. And there we go. That's the Jersey Herd. Third Herd Jersey Herd. Is anybody from New Jersey? I've been to Jersey once. Wasn't a fan, sorry. Then again, I saw all of... Like... One stupid area of Fort Dix... And that was about it. I took a limo ride from Fort Dix to uh, Atlantic City Airport. Um, it was cheaper than a cab. Me and a couple guys went in and got our, rented ourselves a limo. Why not? So there you go. You got the golden body, underbody. You got the peacock upper body. And we all know how much the fishies just love, love, love some peacock curl. All right, so we tied that fly to tie this fly. Um, so what I'm working on is my, where is it at? My Inception streamer. Which is, I'll get this one away. 
which is this big guy. We'll zoom out. Hold on, folks. There we go. This is the Inception. It's a fly within a fly. Um, I'm going to tie the body just a little bit smaller, not on a ginormous, ginormous hook. I think this is a 6 out, 7 out. Um, I'll probably just tie it on a 2 out. But what's nice about this is if we look inside the eyes, we have more flies. So, for this Project Healing Waters contest, um, I have to submit five identical flies. And the closer to identical I get, the better. You know, they judge on use of material, proportions, this, that, and the other. And my theory is they won't see this coming with the with these little blood midges um, in the eyes. So, what I'm doing here is using some size 20 hooks. These are 7948A. I'm going to zoom back in here. 7948A's. And with that, we are making things like this. That's uh, that's the eye there. And here we go. There's the base of them. Two millimeter googly eyes. I they they call them paste on eyes or whatever. Or seven millimeter. I just googly eyes. Whoa. So, anyways, with that. Let's go ahead and tie a couple. Walk everybody through the through the process. All right, take yourself a teeny tiny little hook, and that's that's the regal for you, size eight to size twenty. Not even thinking about it. Switching it up, we got a fourteen knot thread. This is red. So we'll cast this on. And when you get into the size 20, whatever size hooks, you really have to make your thread wraps count. So I'm just going to take a few wraps there. Just enough to hold on to that thread. And for the ribbing, I have this uh, Danville's Fine wire, I believe, is the one I was using. And it appears to be stuck in the spool. Right there, I got a kink, and it's not playing right. Hmm. We'll have to, we're going to have to outsource this to plan B, which is hidden back here. Come on, scissors. Let's go. All right. So this is a 13 one hundredths silver wire. We know that size. We're just going to take some of this and just trim it off with this big old heavy spool. This one piece here will probably last me the rest of this project. I had another piece around here somewhere, but who knows where it went. So one of the things I found interesting is on a... The Facebook group. I'm not going to mention the Facebook group. But I posed a question. I asked for a suggestion. I was telling you guys about the, the Red Cross and I wanted, I needed something to watch because the platelets, it takes forever. It's like a two hour deal. And I was hoping, I don't know, there's movies to watch, but I was hoping I could just do some binge watching on YouTube. And 
I threw out there, I said, hey, I'm looking for a YouTube channel, something to binge watch. Preferably fly tying or fly fishing related. And I was expecting to see all sorts of stuff. But the only response I got was a recommendation for A River Runs Through It via audiobook and a couple of different podcasts. Uh, now, what boggles me is I've seen people request fly tying beginner books. Hey, I'm a beginner. I'm looking for a book. And like 15 people will come back and be like, oh, don't waste your money on books. You just need to go to YouTube. And it's like, whoa. So when I'm actually requesting for a YouTube, it's silent. But when people are requesting books, everybody starts shouting out YouTube. I don't know. It's just one of those things that just makes you go, hmm, I guess. I mean, here, we'll, we'll, we'll take a little pan here. There's the books. And then I got a whole nother, I got a whole nother box of books. I think it's like a Time Life series or, or something like that. Just Google it. I'll Google myself. No, that sounds dirty. All right, wires counter wrapped. I mean, this this is why I'm doing these for these eyes. A, super duper easy. All right, hurl up front. Remember all those uh, those flies we were just tying? I had to cut off the butt sections. And that left me with all these tips. And that is where it's at. Tie that in. We gotta trim that off. You know, even though this is all gonna get submerged in UV resin, you still, I don't know, integrity. You gotta make it. You gotta make it 100% underneath. You know, oh, that broke off. That's one of the downsides of the tips. The tips are. Fragile. And speaking, speaking of books, I just got a new one, a new old one. And I tell you what, used bookstores, that's that's where it's at, guys. That okay. We're gonna we're gonna manhandle that hurl until we find its breaking point. There we go. When I see flash up there, integrity doing. Yep, exactly. That is textbook army definition of an integrity. And it's interesting the the army the army core values. You know, it's. It's one of the few things that that stick with me you know every time i every time i had to write out my resume i subconsciously well i purposely uh snuck those values in there as a subconscious aspect of my resume or cover letter because you start throwing those hidden verbs those verbs as hidden messages and you, you got to live by them can't just say it you know, it's makes you a prime quality candidate. Here we go. All right, so we got our hurl all hurled up up front, making that little head, thorax, whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm looking through my monitor here and. I don't know. I guess that's the nature of the beast of tying a size 20. I had somewhere a little macro clip-on lens 
and it didn't quite fit on my old phone and I haven't tried it yet on my new phone. Maybe we'll look into that later. Um, could I use some number 14 standard wire hooks? Like, could I use some? Do I need some? I mean, I could, I could always use anything. I mean, I use anything and everything. It's, I'll show you guys after we're done with this, uh, this little project. Um, I recently got my hands on some, some different hooks. So pro marker, turning that red thread into a black thread. And we are going to come in and give it the old one, two, three. One, two, three. Here we go. All right, extras. Yeah, I mean, if you got extras, I, I'll be I'll be more than happy to. Like, are we talking? Cause I got these. These are it's about as standard wire as you get. Nine four zero eight four zero. Or 90, 94, Ooh, barbless. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I do want to, I am consciously going to be trying to make the, a little bit of a transition to um, fishing barbless. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to, oh, I dropped that little guy. Come back. We're going to tip this down a little bit. Hopefully, that won't fall over. Because what we're going to do now, is we're going to do our little arts and crafts time. I'm going to move my, move my beverage so I don't spill that. Alright, we got ourselves a googly eye. Um, how, big, how big of barbless hooks do they come out with? Because, you know... I need big hooks. All right, razor blade. Separated it. I got the black part out. And you know what? I'm so Dutch. That little black spot. I'm saving those. I don't know what I'm saving it for yet. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me what I'm doing with it. Here we go. Like, can I get a two-op barbless hook? And who makes it? Because, you know, I like big hooks, too. Like, here is... Here's some of these recently acquired hooks that I just got. This is a size 2. And I just got size... And we'll go, we'll go one smaller. We'll go to the smallest to the biggest. So we got the size... Four, all the way up. <clears throat> Isn't that nuts? Four, all the way up to a nine odd. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to tie with a nine odd. I mean, you want to talk about? <laughs> Here we go. One of these has just a little enough magnetic. Like, is it a bluegill hook? As in, yeah, it's the size of a bluegill. I mean, hoopa. We need a bigger boat. But yeah, this little box is just, just full of goodies. Eight. So size two, size four, one out, two out, three, four, six, eight, and nine. I mean, big bad mamma jammas. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this building up this eye. We are using some UV clear and the thick flavor. I'm going to 
come in here. This is this is gonna, this is a little difficult because this is on the far end of my bench. But I want y'all to see this. I'm just gonna give that a nice nice little droplet right inside. And I already have two matching sets. So the orientation of this one doesn't really matter. Um, but I do have to alternate left facing and right facing. We'll just place that guy in there. And I'm gonna come in with a little bit of thin. Ah, uh, okay, so now that's all the way in there. I can take this and fill in the rest. Just a couple little drops, let it level out on its own. Put the caps back on the UV. And we're going to give this a little zap. A little zap. So some other big old hooks that I've recently acquired are some monster jig hooks. I got some 90 degrees, some 60 degrees, a um, whole bunch of big old bait hooks and the different aughts. Okay. Shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. We'll just let that sit there. Yeah, these are these are gonna be fun hooks to tie up on. Here we go, nice Gamagatsu five aught sixty degree bend. Okay, we're back. I think we dropped out for a second, but these big old five aught sixty degree jig hook. I don't think I have, I don't know. It all depends on what I can put on this. Something big. I got a whole bunch of 90 degrees as well. And that I'll probably just make up some, some ice fishing. Ice fishing, ice fishing, ice fishing. Yeah, musky. So, uh, where'd my little brush go? Here we go. So again, this is my little little hearing aid battery magnet that my buddy Tom hooked me up with. Here we go. Kind of hard to see on the black black thread, but here we go. Here's the size twenty two blood midge eye. You got a balanced blood leech on a size four. Um, I might have a, I think I have the balanced leech on this channel. Um, here's, we'll, we'll get this camera jacked back up. Here is my balanced leech. It's not bloody. But it's black. I believe this is on a size two or two aught. But 
Yeah, boy. So, all right. Well, let's see. What time is it? It's only... Is this seriously only 6.40? Could, is that correct? Have I only been live for 40 minutes? Yeah, 45 minutes. Hmm. Well, what do we want to do now, boys and girls? I've done tied two flies. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? This is, um, this is essentially it. This is the one, um, uh, actually my wife tied this one. So proud of her and her fly tying skills. So this would definitely be her first attempt at, so I got to tie five of these. This is probably on a size two. And it's red, but I'm going to do blue. I like my blue with the red, with the red eye, red blood midge eye back there. And it's going to have a little more, well, where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, boy, this is it. Lucky blue. So lucky blue there. Um, lucky blue. Uh, really produced well as far as being a lucky fly I didn't catch anything um out in michigan used it on the threw it on the back of the charter boat um my go-to fly is the good old woolly bugger let's see wanna, let's do a woolly bugger real quick let's see if we can pull out a woolly bugger um i know i just saw him here we go we're gonna do a woolly bugger Come on, wake up B-Moon, we're doing a woolly bugger. We're gonna do a size four woolly bugger. Now, the options are with this woolly bugger, do we want to tie this how I at the VA as connection <laughs> come on Wi-Fi wake up let's go we're going to first we got to get our materials out so I need a little bit of marabou I got a orange I got a green hackle here so we'll we'll base everything off of the green hackle I bet you I have everything I need in a scraps bag this will be a scraps bag woolly bugger how about it on size four moonlit hook oh this is gonna be a special one uh chenille do i got long enough pieces of chenille you might have to break into the chenille on it I just don't think we'll have anything long enough because this is this is more than just a more than just your standard one at one or size four. It's a one x strong, three x long. We'll hang that there for now. I am looking for my marabou. I decided that I really, really, really need to clean up my bench and reorganize everything. Um, since I returned from my trip to Montana, that'll work. I'll do a little bit of marabou. Tackle marabou. And I need to get some chenille. Oh, chenille, chenille. And we'll do, we'll do a dark green chenille. I don't know. 
what do we say? Dark green, light green. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do dark green. Dark green. So let's see here. Bum bada bum 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 bum. Let's start this off. Let's use our We'll just continue on with our seven. No, we don't want to use our 75 cent thread. We'll go to a straight up four cents for help. All right, we're going to start that. Yeah, Steve, you're going to have to give a. B moon, a heads up. Where am I looking for? I'm looking for. Looking for the wire. I'm going to tie in our silver. I always like to do my counter wrap, my ribbing, whatever. Marabou, we're gonna go. Uh oh, something crystal to clear. Uh oh, to can't. Yeah, don't. We have a storm rolling through, so it might be, might be the the Wi-Fi is acting up. Yeah, it's saying I'm losing my losing my connection, and I don't know why. The ionosphere, the magnesosphere, whatever is. I like to do is. I believe once everything, once this uh, syndicates and becomes the live stream, I do. Is back together and is uninterrupted as it is being recorded. Done. All right, take the chenille. Strip off the end a little bit. This will be my first. This is my first bully bugger on five. It's pretty cool. Things and anyway, or not, but I found a picture of my first 13 flies all on when I was at the VA going through Project Healing Waters. I want to repost that picture on my Instagram. feel bad because there's nothing I can do. Mm. You know, it's not like I can... I wish I could just turn the internet off. Soon, 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 soon. All right. We're going to tie this one in by the stem. And 
going to finish it off. Palmer it from the front to rear. Nice little roll. It up. And we'll finish that off here. All right, trim off your wire. You know, these little flush cutters were just absolutely fantastic for um, fly tying. I picked them up at the hobby shop. Um, people use them for, I don't know what you call the little, the little model, green cars, off of the moles, tag ends or whatnot. Bad connection, bad connection. All right, we'll finish this off with the old one, two, three whip finish. Trim that off. And this one will get the good old secret sauce. That's going to bother me sitting there. There we go. Perfecto. All right, a little bit of the secret sauce. Sally Hansen's hard as nails. Trim the brush in half, got rid of half of the bristles. When you got a big head like this, it makes it a lot easier to just smear it all over. If you want to get fussy with it, come in with your bodkin. That works too. All right, there you got it. There's there's the woolly bugger on. Where did I lose the bag? Here we go. All right, that's my cue to wrap it up. I don't know. Internet's going crazy. ML057 moonlit. It's a one X strong, three X long. Size four. So cool beans, guys. Thanks for uh, struggling with me here at the very end. Uh, I guess we got a couple ties of the weeks done. So uh, tune in next week. I will be doing the live stream once again. Um, next up, I will be publishing. Uh, you guys got the preview on it. The Jersey herd. The Jersey herd. Part of the A to Z. Apple Green, Beaver Nymph, Cardinal, Dancing Caddis, the E12, Fred, the Green, Green Butt something, um, the Hurl Nymph, uh, Irwin Special, and uh, the Jersey. Jersey. Jersey Herd. Then the box it goes. I got one of each in there. Putting one of each aside. All right, gang. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, hit the share button for me. Let's get the word out there. All tied up fly tying school. We're out there uh, doing this live every Sunday for you. All right, gang. Peace.